Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Molly. We are back with more Pokemon the trading card game online. Let's open up another pack. Now, uh, sadly, I'm kind of running out of packs. I have about five more. Um, I am getting a good amount of money, and packs are about 90 coins each, but I'm using my money to buy decks rather than packs, so I might have to go a couple of episodes after I finish all these without opening any more, unless someone wants to uh, donate a bit more. That'd be, you know, the best, but yeah, we're going to be running out very soon. So let's just open uh, this one up. Roaring Skies. We have a... I think we've opened up a good amount of these already. This is gonna be a five booster pack one. So here we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> five new cards. Let's see. Got an Inke. Rip off. Choose a random card and shuffles it back into deck and side beam. Flip a coin. It's now confused. Oh, it has a little mouth on it. We got a Dunsparce card. I like how this is like a. It's almost like a picture of a real life clay one. I'm not sure if this is digital or not. It's pretty cool though. We have a Not Two. I love the evolved form. Satsu or whatever. Healing Scarf. I have never seen this. Um, whenever you attach an energy from your hand to this Pokemon, heal 20. Oh, huh, interesting. And we got Salamence. Evolve some Shellgon. So this is a Fire and Water Dragon card. Um, let's see. Shatter. Discard any card in play. And this does 60 damage. So literally one Fire, you do 60 damage. But it's a stage 2. So, um, you know, it takes a while to get up there. We got Power Howl. Does 20 damage the number of cards in my opponent's hand. God dang. And Steam Blast. 170 damage to discard 3 energy attached to this Pokemon. What a crazy card. Very situational. Also has 4 retreat cost. Okay. Let's do a trainer battle for today. And let's see here. So we go to the league. Select the deck. Uh, let's see. We are Enchanted Echoes. 5 more to unlock the pack. Select the trainer. We'll go for our new one for today. Penelope. So I think this is a new uh, deck. Psychic and Water. Is it gonna have like Psyduck in there? That'd be cool. I used to really like Golduck. It was a cool card. I wonder if they have like a new Evolve form. I seriously doubt it because you know it's pretty good how it how it is. Whoa! So look at the deck they're using. They're using a um, Print Plup deck. Right, so she has no cards, which is good for me. I'll be able to draw one more. Now, do we want Clefairy or Bellsprout? Uh, Bellsprout, we have Victory Bell, but no Weeping Bell. We'll go with the safer bet and drop down to Clefairy. Uh, I'd be upset if we get a Weeping Bell. <laughs> Alright, at least we can start setting it up because we have all the uh, stuff. But here's the thing we're finding a Kyurem, 130 HP. Outrage. And Glaciate. This, uh, this attack does 30 damage to each of my. Of each of my Pokemon. God dang. What a very strong card. I wish I threw Weeping Bell out first. This is just really bad. What I can do, I guess, right now is, you know, buff him up until so he gets three, then switch him out as quick as possible. Good, the good thing about Bellsprout and Weeping Bell and all that stuff, it only needs one Grass Energy for it to be uh, pretty effective. Damn, what a cool deck here. So he's got a chair, draw three more cards, and put a Pimple down, Roller Skates. If he gets heads, he draws three more. Which he did, or she did, right? Penelope. And a Great Ball. Top seven cards. Grab any cards you want. Grab a print plup. So let's see, this deck is weak to metal, looks like. Metal and lightning. I don't have any of that in my deck. This is going to be very interesting. So Weeping Bell. Put one more card. Ooh, I'm very scared to freaking uh, go heads up against that Kyura. So next turn, he'll be able to uh, do some outrage damage to me. Absolutely gonna do some outrage damage. Another chair and support card. God dang. So yeah, I'm sorry, Clefairy. You're gonna have to uh, take the blunts here. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I want to put this down because next turn he might glaciate. Well, actually, no. He needs two waters to glaciate, which can happen to each of my Pokemon. So if, if I put this guy down now, she'll be attacked. Might not be worth it. Okay. So here we go. We'll put a third one on Victory Bell. And I can wafting set. If I wafting sense. I won't be able to attack with Spiral Dream unless I get lucky to get another um, Grass card. But I can poison him now and get confused. So I think uh, we should start doing that. I know, right? I'm going to be really, really, you know, going on RNG here. Yeah, we'll put Eevee down. Super crazy on RNG whether or not we get a Grass 
in the next couple of turns in the next two turns so yeah he can use glaciate now i gotta be really hopefully he gets a tails he got a tails perfect wonderful now we need two turns two turns left we did not get it oh perfect we got oh this is no i don't want to switch him out i do not want to switch him out with, with by activating follow me because i will switch him out we do not want that to happen so no more putting cards on Victory Bell unless it's a grass card. Uh, Glaceon is cool. So Moonstone during your next two. So yeah, Clefable can actually do some damage now. I'll put this on, but I won't do Follow Me. We'll have to wait if we get if we get a grass. I'll still put it on uh, Clefable, I guess. Please get a Tails. He got another Tails. We're getting pretty lucky with our RNG here. Uh, I'm just scared though, because if he actually uh, if I don't get it, I got it. Cool. We can move last. He's dead. But if he was able to use Outrage, he'd be do uh, like 120 damage on me right straight out. So Moonblast for 30 damage would absolutely kill him, and we get the effect. Um, so Clefable would take 30 damage less for next turn. So that means if he puts Razor, you know, anything on him, Razor Wing, it won't do any damage, which is great. Okay. Super rotting. Those couple of cards. Wait, did I do something wrong? Any damage done to the defending is reduced by 30. Yeah, it's supposed to be reduced by 30, right? Or is it? Hold on. Any damage for the defending Pokemon is reduced by 30. Is it his defending Pokemon? That's pretty weird. Huh, I don't understand. Ah, uh, weird. Huh, awkward. Alright, put one on Leafeon. We only need one grass on them, so let's see. So, Moonblast. So, I'm supposed to take 30 less damage, or he's supposed to take 30 less damage. He's using that. Oh, I get it. I have to use it on, let's see, any damage done by attacks from the defending. There we go. Okay, I got it now, guys. Sorry. It, it, it only works on the Pokemon that I attacked. So, of course, we killed Kyurem. He got switched out, so, yeah. Okay. Uh oh. He Razor Wing instead of Fury attacked. Might as well have Fury attacked. Alright, one more on him. So yeah, we are missing the grass. Otherwise, if this Clefable dies, um, my, you know, Victory Bell and Leafeon would do literally no damage because, well, they're missing the most important grass energy. There it is. Uh, who do I want to put it on? I'm going to go with the Victory Bell. If we somehow get knocked out. Alright, so goodbye, Print Plup. This is great. This is great. So for this is Letter. Okay. Okay, Razor Wing does the 20 damage to me because I did not moon blast it. We got the extra energy. Perfect. These two are ready to go. We do not need to do anything else. I do not need to use Professor's Letter nor Spiral, you know, Wafting Sense. So, yeah, NPC, dum 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 dum. I'm going to hold on to the Noi Bad. Of course, if we get any sort of like, um, we get the maintenance card, we can throw away an Excel or Noi Bad to go draw one more card. Well, it's not throwing away. It's pretty much, um, this is what I'm looking for. You're shuffling it back into your deck. So, Primplup is getting knocked out. We're doing really well. Really happy about this. We got another Kyurum card. He'll be able to use uh, Outrage, which is going to do a good amount of damage to me. So, yeah, we're getting to the point where um, some crazy stuff might just happen. That did not happen. That failed. Straight out. I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to use Wafting Scent. Once again, Wafting Scent on the Kyurum. I'm not too worried about it this time because we have Professor's Letter. I can grab the Grass Energies. Yeah, I'll grab two Grass Energies. And uh, we'll put one more on Victory Bell. So he is now confused and poisoned each turn. We do not want to use Fallen. We will Moonblast it one more time. He is going to do a total of 40 damage to me right now unless he uses uh, some other card. Some other attack. So 30 damage. Why we had 30 damage? I can't count. I can't count, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, Battle Reporter, have the same amount of cards. Alright, I think we'll do that. Noibat. We will put... Actually, we do not need to put any more uh, energies on any of these Pokemon. No, actually, no, it's fine. We'll put it on Victory Bell. Well, no, here's the deal. We'll put on Noibat, and then we'll energy switch it out into the Victory Bell. The reason why is because Victory Bell, the more grass he has, he can keep wafting sense. And the reason why I'm doing this is to just get rid of more cards so I can battle report and grab a lot of cards. Here we are. So I can now maintenance some cards I don't need. So we'll maintenance the 2XL. Actually, no. I mean, one Sylveon and one Vigoroth. Sylveon could easily get with the Eevee card. 
Let's see here. This guy's not going to die. Clefable will most likely die. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use a potion on her. We'll put down Clefairy. And I guess that is... Yeah, next turn I'll put Leafeon down. I want to hold on to a Victory Bell so we can keep using his Wafting Ascent. So, yeah. I mean, no matter what I do, Clefable, if one more damage is going to get knocked down. So let's see if uh, Kyurvan gets super unlucky and hits himself one more time. Man, that's a crazy card right there. So, no, he did not hurt himself. I'm gonna hit with an Outrage. So, 40 damage. Yep, Moonblash, uh, Magical Leaf. Should be able to kill him with one hit. And then, next turn, we can use a Wafty Set on his next card right here. So, let's look at this. Goth Gothitelle. Stage 2, Magic Room. As long as this Pokemon is your active, I cannot play the item cards. Whoa, that's, uh, that's pretty scary. And Mad Kinesis. 30 damage plus 20 more for each, you know for each uh, psychic energy so yeah that's cool but so because you know right now gothic only has some regular energy it's just gonna do 30 damage all right so put that on there we'll uh, prepare all these pokemon let's see i think uh we will put some cards on shellmet i mean using that raid attack would be awesome so let's kill this guy straight out dead heads or tails don't worry about it. Goodbye. So next turn, we'll wafting set. Absolutely. Tornadus. Because this guy's 130 health. Anything would be anything would be wonderful. Let's see if he, uh, the NPC decides to put a, uh, a psychic card. If he does, uh, it'll do 50 damage to me. Yep, there he goes. Ow, 50 damage. Okay, so here we go. Hmm. I can't use any item cards because of freaking... Um, the room card. So we're gonna wafting set. So there you go. Poison and confuse. No need to put it to sleep. I don't want to evolve it because I want to be able to use at least the raid attack. Probably. And yeah, so I can't Professor's letter. So we're gonna magical leaf. 50 damage in heads, I'll heal 30. The not happen, but we'll see what happens. So I can't potion it out. Leafeon might just bite the dust here. Another Piplup into Primlup. That's the third one in the game. That's probably this guy's last one. Tails. Cool. Hurts himself. And it looks like uh, we won this one. Well, we won this particular battle. Can't use any item cards still. Uh, we're going to go to Magical Leaf. Heal yourself, please. Not happen. Alright. So there's a pretty small chance that uh, we're going to get knocked out by a, by a Fury attack if he decides to have another double colorless energy. Hang three onto Primlup was, oh my god, Empyreon, Empoleon, sorry, Attack Command, I don't even know what that card did, let me read it, Empoleon does 10 times the number of Pokemon in play, ooh, that's insane, alright, let's see here, I think we'll go with Shellman now, let's do it, we'll go with the, um, we'll go with the Raid Attack, so we go Evolve, one Attack Raid, but before we do, let's the Professor's Letter, one of these and one of these. We're gonna uh, make the most use of Victory Bolt's Wafting Sense. We'll add another one on him. Well, Wafting Sense. So once again, Poison and Confused. And now we're able to use um, item cards thanks to Magical Rube not being in play anymore. Roller skating for three cards. Interesting. Put Eevee on the field. Maybe we can start setting her up. Another Bell Sprout. Uh, we only have one Victory Bell. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna have Maintenance. The big the bell sprout and a vigoroth and noipad. Oh great! Nothing else I can do. We'll raid, so it's gonna do 60 damage. Take that. All right. So if he attacks command, it's a one, two, three, four, five. He's gonna do 60 damage unless he starts putting more Pokemon. So 70 damage. Confused. Oh god! Here comes the 70 damage. Ah. All right. Now let's try using um, Axel Gore's special ability after a strike. I guess we'll use one of these bad boys and go for it. Do 40 damage straight off the bat, and if he attacks, we have a chance to dodge out the damage straight out. So he's healing a little bit, keep him alive just a little bit longer. Oh man. I mean, as long as we kill one more Pokemon, we won. I mean, look at our prize pool. We're doing good. This is a long battle. My god. I'm like, this is insane. Alright, so two roller skates. Both were <laughs> unluckily, fortunately for me, unsuccessful. Professor's letter keeping him in the game. I mean, he's pretty much dead. We absolutely... Oh, Hard Charm might keep him alive one turn. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gonna keep him alive. Actually, no, screw that, man. We can retreat straight out to Victory Bell and hit him with Spiral Dray, which is gonna do 40 damage. But he's he's dead, so we did it. Penelope, Jesus, man, it's a lot of uh, man, just, just straight out, man, just resilient. I commend you, but uh, you know, I won. Get out of here. Okay. So, check this out. We're going to go buy a new deck. We have 680 coins. Look at this. Since I've last played, they've added a couple of new packs. I want to buy one of these. I know I said I'd purchase some. Uh, what is it? Uh, where is that one? This one. There's a Dark Hammer, but they added some new ones. I want to grab one of these. So, I don't know which one's good. I'm Here it is. I, I mean, you can obviously go online and look at everything, but, you know. Here we go. We got a... Uh, it, it doesn't show you what cards are in the deck. Like, this one does. This one shows you all the cards but this one doesn't so it's gonna be really fun to uh, try one of these so I think I want to grab okay it's either voltage vortex or explosive edge I want to buy the explosive edge now remember over time we're gonna purchase all these we haven't grabbed even one of these yet too and as soon as we get these we can unlock more packs thanks to you know of course getting 12 wins so we're gonna get this one we'll see what's happening so this is a explosive edge deck let's go check it out this is gonna be really cool uh, okay so let's unpack it and we'll go to the collection uh, okay, done. Let's go to, uh, let's see here. Cards. Deck Manager. So where is that? Explosive Edge. It's a fire and a water deck. Cool. Let's look at it. Okay, so there's lots of new cards here. Let's check it out. Let's start with the energy. So we have 12 fires, 6 energies for a total of 18 energy in this deck. We have a new trainer stadium card called Sky Arrow Bridge. The retreat cost uh, for each basic Pokemon. Each basic Pokemon. So... You know, anything that's not stage one or two, of course, is one color is less. And we got a new Charon card. It's the same Charon, but uh, of course, a new art style. Heavy Ball. Uh, search your deck for a Pokemon with three or more retreat. Pokemon Communication. We've seen this used before, but never we, you know, had it. Reveal a Pokemon in your hand and put it on top of your deck. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon and reveal it. Nice. Energy search, energy reveal. So we have two vanillish cards. It's a stage one. Icy snow and icy wind. Flip a coin. If heads, he's asleep. So we got two vanillites and two of these. We got Persian and a Meowth card. So we got a regular two. We got how many of these? We got two of these. So two Meowth and one Persian. This used to be my favorite Pokemon. I love Meowth. It's really cool. But then, you know, it's all about Growlithe now. And Sylveon. So Persian. So two Meowth and one Persian. Nasty plot. Search your deck for a card and put it into your hand. Search it. Just search. You grab any card you want. And Shadow Claw. Flip a coin of heads. Discard a random card from your hand. So this is a, uh, it's a tempo card. It's not really too crazy. But here it is. This must be one of the strongest Pokemon in the deck. We have a Litwick. So we have four Litwicks. Two Lampents. Ember. Flip a coin of tails. Discard. So these two cards are weak on its own. This one must be really good. Chandelure. 120 health, flame burst using only one fire. 30 damage, so not only does it do 30 damage to their defending Pokemon, but 30 to each, I mean, to, yeah, 30 to two of their defense was. And Inferno, discard all energy from this Pokemon. Oh man, the defending Pokemon is now burned. Oh jeez, what a weird card. And then we have um, Kuchu, Sniffle, <laughs> what's this? This, po this belt attack space is four. 40. During your next turn, this Pokemon's belt attacks base is 40. So belt will do 40 instead of 20. Weird. And then it evolves into a bear tick. Daunt. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done by attacks from the defending Pokemon is done by is reduced by 20 and ambush. Flip a coin of heads 30 more. And finally we have well, we have a lot of cards. Alright. We have two new Growl. Oh my god, we have like some of my favorite Pokemon here. We have Growlithe and we have Meowth. So Combustion and a new Arcanine card, Crunch. Flip a coin of heads, discard energy, and heat blast. And then we have two Reshiram cards of the same variety. Outrage and Blue Flare. Finally we have a Pantsir, Darukama, and Basculin. So these are the crap these are the crap cards of this deck. Two Basculins are shit. Two Darukama without the abilities, without the evolved forms and Pantsir. So these ones suck. So there seems to be a lot of energy discarding in this deck. The only thing to, you know, the only thing to uh, retract from that is two energy retrievals and two energy searches. Now, I know it's 20 minutes in, but you guys, you know, I've been so great with keeping up with my episodes. I don't want to say thank you so much. Let's keep going with another battle, huh? Random battle, theme deck, using our new 
an approved, well, explosive edge. Let's try it. I wonder if anyone has this yet. I think this barely came out yesterday or today, because I, I didn't see this before. But then again, I haven't looked at the cards. So we are using... Oh, look, they're using a Froki deck. So I'm using my awesome explosive edge deck. Look at that name. Ride the Yoshi. So let's see how this deck performs. This is going to be fun. So she got the heads, which means she goes first. Let's see. Kukuchu and Vanilla. Both of these evolve into a card, but we don't have the card yet. Um, let's see, which one's better? We'll probably go for a cup chew. We can do uh, the belt attack for 40. Search your deck for 3. Energy cards are put in your hand. Okay, now remember, we only have 16. Uh, we only have, yeah, uh, let's see, 12 fires and 6 energies of these. So, pad pour. Alright, search your deck for 3 basic energies. Put it in your hand. Why the hell not? So, uh, 1, 2. Uh, I'll put more more of these in my hand, more waters, because, well, we have two water Pokemon. And we'll go ahead and sniffle, so next turn we can do 40 damage. Now the thing is, you have to sniffle before belt, so if you belt for 40, next turn belt is going to do 20 damage unless you sniffle again. <sighs> so yeah, I guess the best thing to do would be get Pokemon communication if possible. Chair in, draw 3, what a good card, I love it. Energy search. Okay, so how's this work? Reveal the Pokemon in your hand and put it on top of your deck if you need to search for another one. So, in my hand, we have a lamp hand, which is going to be to Litwick. So, we, that's the only thing we can do now. So, here we go. We're going to activate this. We're going to put lamp hand on top of my deck to grab a, um, let's see, Litwick. So, next turn, we could evolve Litwick into lamp hand. So, let's start putting, well, no, I got to put cards on him now. So, what's this energy search? Search your deck for a basic energy, put it in your hand. Yeah, wait, hold on. So this deck is all about finding energies and discarding energies to make a really strong, you know, combos. It's pretty much. So now we can do 40 damage, takes the belt. Let's do it. 40 damage. Cool. Damage increase. So we're going to have to, uh, I mean, it'd be nice to sniffle again. Oh, is it to collect? Look, this guy doesn't have any cards left on his field. That's interesting. Oh, wait. I thought I was supposed to get the card. I guess I shuffled it back. Oh, that's my bad. Alright, anyway, let's see what we got here. So I'm going to belt. Next turn, he's dead if he doesn't have any more cards. He should. I mean, Ride the Yoshi will have one more card. There we go. A Ponyard. I think we've only faced this deck a couple of times. I remember this uh, this card very, very slightly here. Now, uh, this is a metal card, which is weak to fire. We have a mix of fire and water, of course. Litwick would do a lot of damage. Alright, so Panpour, man. He's dead. It's kind of scary, though, because Pampor is actually doing a lot of stuff here. Um, man, there's not much going on here, huh? All right, we'll belt again. So, goodbye. And please give me one of the evolved forms of Cub Shoot. Lamp Pets. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So, oh my god, look at this. It takes it takes three to retreat. That's not good. Heads. If Heads gets to grab any card he wants, he did. So, he's going to be setting up something crazy. Maybe Evolving Pondyard. Yes, to Bisharp. Okay, so what we gotta do is, well, we'll be able to do 80 damage to his, to him. Crushing hammer, flip a coin of heads, it's got an energy. Please no. Good. So we're probably gonna get knocked out. Next, next turn, we could jab if heads paralyzed. Okay, we're waiting on the uh, coin flips at least. Okay. Metal claw. So if we do a little bit of damage now, if he knocks me out. He won't know, but we can go ahead and lamp pit next turn and actually do a lot of damage. So he might think like, oh, you know, he can't kill me next turn. I'm not going to bother putting another Pokemon down. But no, we'll evolve next turn and do 80 damage because he's weak. And next is Pokemon Communication. Reveal another card. Put a Pokemon. No, we do not want to do that. Uh, we do not want to do that. Okay, so yeah. We're going to go for the bite and he's going to think, oh, good. He can't kill me next turn with what he has on the ground. We'll see if he uh, smartens up and puts a Pokemon on the bench. If not, then hey, we got this. We got this by the balls. We are outsmarting Ride the Yoshi. With all the cards in her hand, you would assume she has another one. So here we go. We are playing like a champ right now. We are strategizing a little bit. This is wonderful. So putting the, putting the Litwick down, he's like, oh, you can't kill me. What are you going to do? Actually, yes, we can kill you. So take this. You're about to get knocked out, and we can evolve to Vanilla. So we do not need to put any more energies on Lamp Hit. And Ride the Yoshi gave up right away. See all the cards in her hand? Very selfish to not put any more cards on the bench as a precaution. So we totally... Come on, she has so many cards. She has to have at least one more basic Pokemon out there. So absolutely got outsmarted, outplayed. <laughs> so I love this new deck. 
Um, obviously, the very strongest base Pokemon on there would be, you know, my two Reshiram cards, and uh, you know, the Growlithe Evolved Form, Persian's okay, uh, Lampet's, oh, you know, all right. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. I am running out of card packs, so forgive me if we don't open any, um, you know, after a couple episodes. But we're busy buying regular packs with 500 coins each, and it's pretty fun. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.